Hey friends, Tom Wiley here. It's been a long time since I've published a video. Um, I think Easter was actually the last video I published. So it's time for an update. Um, I just watched this morning. I couldn't sleep um, early morning. I ended up uh, finding and watching a, a most recent video from Art and Bree. Art just published a video um, basically similar to this where he was expressing so I'm making this in a one-shot video because I have to get something out I've had a severe case of what you could call writer's block <laughs> um, being stuck trying to figure out where to start in kind of getting back on publishing again after a break I totally get it um, we've been in a similar time period not as not not big health issues and and whatever else they've got going on but we've been super swamped it's been a, a really hard time to to give time to putting videos together i've still been filming but haven't been editing them so um, go check out their video the link down in the description for that update video of art and brie it's good to hear that that he is feeling better and um uh that they're going to be be back uh publishing videos again um, I wanted to jump in. Thanks for Art for your um, encouragement to just start moving forward again, even if it's a little rough getting started. Um, that's what I'm doing right now too. So to my watchers, to my, especially my subscribers, thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for sticking around. Thanks for your patience, um, waiting for new videos from me. I'm sorry they haven't been frequent um, and especially recently. Um, I'm going to be, I'm working on that. Um, but anyway, thanks. So I owe you guys some updates. Let me explain. No, there is too much. Let me sum up. Number one, we're moving from North Idaho. This is a, a surprise to everybody we, t we tell it to. Um, but that's what's happening. There's, I'm not going to explain it in this video. That's an, for another time. Um, very short story is we're seeking out a way longer growing season than we have here in North Idaho, especially in our little microclimate that we have here on our homestead. Um, but with similar laws and freedoms to what we have here in North Idaho. So where we're moving to, Lord willing, is southern central Missouri. <laughs> So many people have asked us, why Missouri? What is what is behind all this? Again, uh, I'll, I'll tell more in future videos, but uh, we just got back a week-ish ago from a roughly two, two and a half week trip down to Missouri to explore the area, make sure it was a good fit, and to hopefully find a place, which, praise God, amazingly, we did. We found 10 beautiful acres with a house that's ready to walk in for us to move in and start living in. Yeah, it has some things that need work here and there, but every house does. But it's ready for us to just move in and start living there. And it has an amazing shop that I am so excited to set up and start working in. Um, so really excited about that. Again, more details to come, but... Um, that's what we found. We got an offer accepted on that place. We got to do the home inspection before we came back home so that I have peace of mind about the house and the property and, um, and kind of know which projects, which things I should address first and which things can wait a while. Um, so really huge, huge praise that we found a place um, so we know where we're headed. Uh, the next piece of the puzzle is getting this property to sell. We are busy, busy, busy still um, doing things on the house, cleaning up the property. Um, we've got a bunch of stuff to move and get ready for our cross-country move. So a lot of that to come. Um, I want to do this this video quickly though. I want to. I'm doing it on my phone without even a microphone or anything special, so that I can just publish straight from my phone. One of the things that I've been doing recently is learning a new editing software because um, I've been having major technical difficulties using Adobe Premiere Pro, which is what I've been using for quite a while. 
I have decided to switch to DaVinci Resolve. Thanks, Dan Omen of the Grassfoot Homestead for pointing me that direction. Um, so I've been learning that in little bits and pieces as, <laughs> as I've had little snippets of time. So I'm just about to dive into my first edit in that program. I basically haven't even tried publishing or uh, uh, doing anything in Premiere Pro recently since deciding to switch over. Um, just because it wasn't working. I had one video that was basically a hundred, almost 100% edited, ready to go, and now it's just not working. I'm trying to do proxy files, more details than most people care about. I'm trying to do proxy files, they're not working. It's just the video, the audio is disappearing, so I had to just walk away from that video. It was really frustrating. Um, but hopefully that's not gonna happen with Resolve. We'll see how it goes. So anyway, <clears throat> that's been part of the delay. And then part of it has just been, I've been overwhelmed and trying to figure out where to start <laughs> telling this new chapter of our story. It's huge, it's a big, big change. I've always lived here in the Northwest and now I'm moving to Missouri. Um, so there's just a lot going on. Um, we're not totally moving away from North Idaho completely because we parceled off two acres. Uh, our plan is to basically establish a little tiny off-grid place here on the on the remaining two acres um, and so we can have a little place to come to when we come up and visit family um, we can also be working on that off-grid stuff and experimenting with some of that um, and just still own a place in North Idaho we just we couldn't couldn't get ourselves to totally part from it <laughs> and uh, really like the idea of still having a, a little pl place here to call sort of home. Let's see, it seems like there was one. Oh, another big thing. Um, you may have seen on Dan Omen's channel, which is the Grassfed Homestead, I'll link below. Um, I just before, a couple weeks before we left for Missouri, I um, did a major overhaul of Dan Omen's John Siskovich style chicken tractors. He has two of those Siskovich chicken tractors that he needed uh, work done on. They needed to be kind of refurbished and, and rehabilitated from uh, sitting out on pasture for a while, I think a year or two not being used. And um, so they needed some, some TLC, plus I put all of my modifications on them. The, um, the EMT conduit skids that go on the bottom of the runners so that it slides much more easily along the ground even without wheels. Um, we put new chickshaw style handles on it, which turned out really good. Um, uh, I love seeing seeing those used. I wish I had them on mine. That's a project soon to come, hopefully. Um, and I did a bunch of other things. So check out Dan's videos on that. I'll link to all the videos that that like see glimpses of the chicken tractor stuff. Um, my video is still forthcoming on that. I'm doing a video on the build basically the basics of what I did to his chicken tractors and and how you could do it um not all the details because that is going to go into a course that I'm going to publish um so that you have all the details all the dimensions all the instructions on how to do it plus some tips on how to successfully decipher some of the original instructions for just the basic plan for the Siskovich style chicken tractors so anyway that's coming I hoped that I would be able to edit that along our journey to Missouri, but it didn't work out. I was way too just, I had to be focused. A, I was driving a ton, and B, I, all of my other time was taken up with real estate stuff, um, finding a new place down there and working on selling this place. So uh, that didn't work out. Hopefully it will soon. I'm guessing not until after we move to Missouri, which hopefully is going to be in a month or two ish um so we'll see how all that goes i'll let you know when that course comes out and you'll see when the video comes out of um, the basics um one final update this video is getting long but i want to publish it all in one go um, the paul bunyan wood chopper i've had a bunch of people joining my facebook group about that thank you so much for joining welcome to the group um uh, that's another thing that I'm looking forward to getting to work on once we hit the new property in Missouri. It has an amazing shop that I'm going to be able to do metalworking in much more easily than I've been able to do 
at our, this property or the previous one. Um, so I'm really looking forward to working more on the wood chopper and publishing plans for that. So that's coming, more updates on that coming also. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Check out this video if you need help pulling small trees out of the ground and you don't want to break your transmission on your vehicle and you want some helpful, helpful leverage to get that thing yanked out of the ground. Um, be aware there's a lot of safety Sally comments in the comments to that video, but what the heck. Enjoy.